Hi, I'm Ray Guessman with Chimney Sweeps International and today's topic is chimney shoulders. So what is a chimney shoulder? A chimney shoulder is this. You have a fireplace that goes up. It has an open fireplace. The whole deal is, is that brick is expensive and air voids of brick is expensive and to have a proper chimney going up the chimney to decrease cost and you're going to narrow the chimney so that it goes from an open fireplace to a chimney liner. And that transition in between those is a smoke chamber on the inside. On the outside is chimney shoulders. So you got the inside smoke chamber, outside chimney shoulders. So the chimney shoulders are exposed to water and the elements. And there's a whole bunch of interesting issues regarding chimney shoulders. There's many ways that chimney shoulders can be made. There's also a whole bunch of codes talking about how to make chimney shoulders. But one thing that you as a homeowner should know is, is that as you corbel the brick of a chimney shoulder, just like a drip edge, you might have little holes inside of those bricks. Water that comes down the chimney can land in those brick holes. And if it gets in those brick holes, it can get inside of the smoke chamber it can eat up the mortar joints of the smoke chamber, leak all inside the fireplace, cause a bunch of fire hazards. So it's, a, it's very important. Chimney shoulders are very important. So proper brick masons who, who build chimney shoulders, they will, if they corbel it, they'll parge them smooth using some type of mortar to fill those brick holes. And that way water comes down, it, it doesn't get inside of them. The problem with that is sometimes these brick masons, they'll, they'll corbel it too much. And you're only allowed to corbel it like a third of the uh, brick width or half of the brick height. If he corbels it too much, it allows water to cascade and get inside of it. Other brick masons understand this concept. And so what they'll do is, is that they will, instead of laying mortar in between the individual courses, uh, they'll paver the top of it and put mortar joints in between it. That still has its own problems. If those mortar joints flake or deteriorate or get water in them, it can leak inside of the smoke chamber. So here's the deal on chimney shoulders. They leak. You just got to fix them. Uh, there are different ways of fixing a leaking chimney shoulder. You might need to completely parge over the chimney shoulders because the brick mason didn't parge them properly or you might be able to spot repair individual mortar joint that has separated from the overlying brick. So sometimes these mortar joints will get little gaps in between the brick and the mortar joint that's kind of filling over the brick holes. And you can fix those using either the clear uh, elastomeric sealant. You can tear up the whole mortar joint and repoint it. Or you could parge over it using a, another type of elastomeric sealant. Uh, either way, just got to have it watertight. So fixing shoulders to keep them waterproof, that's your main objective. This has been your topic of chimney shoulders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Ray Gessner with Chimney Soups International. Have a good day.